All right, here's your problem of the day. Barry had $68.17 in his pocket. His friend Jack returned $20 he borrowed from Barry. Then Barry spent $32.91 at Walmart. How much money does Barry have now? One more time, Barry had $68.17 in his pocket. His friend Jack returned $20 he borrowed from Barry. Then Barry spent $32.91 at Walmart. How much money does Barry have now? All right, so what do we know? Well, we know that Barry had $68.17 and he got $20 from a friend and he spent $32.91. The question is, how much money does Barry have now? So how much money does Barry have now? Okay, so let's think about what's going on in this problem. We know that Barry starts off with $68.17 in his pocket. But his friend comes along and gives him $20 that he owed him. So now, instead of $68.17 in his pocket, he has what? What, 68 17 plus 20. Right, $88.17 are now in his pocket. But he goes to Walmart and he spends some of that. How much does he spend? Right, he spends $32.91 at Walmart, and now we need to figure out how much he still has. So how are we going to figure that out? What's the plan? Right, we're going to subtract. We're going to subtract the amount of money <clears throat> that he spent at Walmart from the amount of money that he has in his pocket. So it's going to be $88.17 minus $32.91. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we need to make sure that we line up our place values perfectly. So be careful that you're lining up the decimal point. All right. And we are subtracting. What's 7 minus 1? 6, correct. What's 1? Oh, can we do that? No, we cannot. Can we get 9 out of 1? No, we have to borrow from our neighbor. So let's go to the 1's place. Where well, that will become a 7, and then we'll add the 10 over here. All right, now we can do it. 11 minus 9 is 2. Drop down your decimal point. 7 minus 2 is 5, and 8 minus 3 is also 5. So the amount of money that Barry has now. Barry has $55.26 left. Is that what you got? Good job.